What's up, Internet Coach Dennis here. Stick around as today I talk about the three main issues that prevent people from getting the results that they want to see in the gym. This is week five of the Coaching Cotter series where I coach my good friend Cotter on how to grow his arms, grow his legs, and get fit all by the end of the year. The number one reason people do not make the progress they want in the gym is because they're waiting for perfect conditions or they let less than optimal conditions prevent them from working out or doing the session that was intended. Conditions are never going to be perfect. Rarely, almost always something's going to go wrong. This could be an injury. Injury, air quote, I'm doing air quotes here on the other side is probably the next number one reason or number two reason that people stop working out. There's always something you can do, always something you can work on. If your shoulder's bothering you, you can still hit leg day. You can still do runs. You can still do cycling. There's so much you can do. And you can work on that shoulder. You can identify why was it hurt in the first place. Most gym injuries are really aggravations that spawn from some underlying muscle imbalance or um, you know underlying dysfunction in the first place. So identify that and work on it. Now that's your project, okay? But there's no reason to stop. Number three would be not seeing progress fast enough. If we're trying to grow muscle, you can only grow about one to three pounds of muscle on the whole body per month. Visibly, that's not going to show up. If your arms are growing, your shoulders are growing, your legs are growing, and we're getting in total one to three pounds, that's going to be centimeters on <laughs> you know when we're measuring it on all the muscles. It takes time, okay? Adaptation takes time. When you're running, adaptation takes time. I've been working on my running for the better part of a year now, and finally, yesterday, hit a PR. But going back to less than optimal conditions, there are days where just everything can go wrong. Yesterday, in search for perfect conditions. I thought it was 100 degrees out. I thought, I'll bring my rollers to the gym. I'll work out inside. It'll be nice and cool. This will be perfect, right? I had this perfect plan set up. The rollers inevitably broke on me. And for the first, I did not even know what was going on, right? So this roller here is completely locked up. What the hell is going on? Spent about 15, 20 minutes trying to repair it. Thought I had it fixed. Sure enough, it broke again. What do I do? Do I just say, well, I guess I'm not biking today? No, I went outside. Outside, conditions were, again, suboptimal. Hot as hell. The area I was in had less than one mile of straightaway. So I'm doing two-minute intervals where I have to turn around halfway through the interval but that's okay. Just give it 100%. Um, Popped a chain while I was out there. That sucked. Got it back on. There's going to be days like this. Shit happens. Then I had a time trial. Decided to do that on the treadmill. Well, the the monitor, the screen died. The batteries ran out. (laughs) So it's like, you know, there are just days where the things aren't going to go your way. But guess what? It's just training. Keep sending this keep sending the signal. That's my message. All that mattered in today's training is that I send the signal. Does it matter that I did exactly two miles because the screen died? No, but I know the general time frame I needed to put effort in. So I kept going on the treadmill. I sent the signal. Does it matter that my two-minute intervals, I, I had to do a 10-second turnaround? No. I sent the signal. I did the general criteria. 
does it matter that my shoulder's bothering me and I can't press overhead? No, because there's other shoulder exercises I can do. There's other rehab exercises I can do. I can continue to send the signal. If you keep that philosophy in mind, send the signal, stay consistent, you will beat out all of your peers, all of your competitors, because most people are wanting perfect conditions, perfect workouts, quick results, and when they're just waiting for only those workouts, only those conditions, so they can send what they perceive as the best possible signal, they end up working out 20% of the time that he who realizes it doesn't need to be perfect all the time. Because that person will just continue to send the signal no matter what, under any circumstances. Yes, this is a paradox training. We're trying to do progressive overload. We're trying to see our numbers go up. We're trying to always have the best possible workout. But that's intent versus reality. The intent should always be to improve. But the